Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful candy stripe blanket. This blanket is made using pastel colors and each color consists of two rows. I decided to make this blanket as I normally don't make pastel blankets in all these colors. I'm trying to break out of my comfort zone a little bit. So I went on Pinterest as one normally does for inspiration and I saw a couple of blankets using these particular colors and I thought that I would try and make a blanket using that. So I came up with this candy stripe blanket and this blanket is made using the granny stripe stitch. Now this is very similar to the granny square stitch. The only difference instead of going in around like you would for the granny square, you're working in rows to make that stripe. So again, these are made using pastel colors and I believe that using these colors together would make a very beautiful gender neutral baby blanket. You can definitely use it for a little boy or a little girl and I think it turned out absolutely beautiful. So for today I'm just going to show you how to make a small swatch just so you can get the general idea of how to make this blanket and then I will also show you how to make this beautiful shell edging that I made right here. So let's get started on today's tutorial. For today's tutorial, you're going to need a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. I'm using my favorite Clover Amore. I will leave the link below to this hook and as well as the yarn just in case you wanted to pick up the same yarn that I did and the same hook that I did. Likewise, I will also leave a pad the link below for the pattern just in case you wanted to check out the written pattern instead. The yarn that I'm using today is I Love This Yarn by Hobby Lobby and I'm going to be using a variety of colors and the first one is pink, then I'm going to be using light peach, buttercup which is a light yellow, menth which is a mint green, light blue, and orchid. So let's start with our pink. So to make the granny stripe, you're going to be making a chain of a multiple of three plus one. That means you're going to chain three plus three plus three until your desired length. And once you're happy with your length, then you're going to add one more chain onto the end. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and make a chain of 31. If you want to make the blanket that I showed you at the beginning of the video, you're going to make a chain of 115. So you can make this blanket bigger or smaller depending on what your preference is. Just need to make sure that you do that multiple of three and then when you're finished you want to add one more chain onto the end. So again we're going to make 31 chains just for this tutorial. So to make a chain you're going to do yarn over your hook and pull through that loop on your hook. So that's one, two, three, four, five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. So now that you have your thirty-one chains, you're gonna make two double crochets in the fourth chain from your hook. So that chain, you're gonna skip the first three chains and that's gonna count as your first double crochet and in that fourth chain you're going to make two double crochets. Now that loop on your hook does not count and you're going to count three chains, one, two, and three, and then that fourth chain you're going to do a double crochet. So to make a double crochet you're going to do yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that fourth chain, yarn over your hook, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops and that is your double crochet. So you're going to go ahead and do one more double crochet in that same stitch. So again, yarn over your hook, insert your hook into that same chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So that completes your first double crochet cluster. Next, you're going to skip two stitches or two chains and you're going to make two double crochets into the next, I'm sorry, you're going to make three double crochets into the next stitch. 
So you're going to skip the next two chains, so one and two, and in that third chain right here, you're going to make three double crochets. So one, two, grab some more yarn, and three. So you're going to do the same thing all the way down. You're going to skip the next two chains, so one and two, and in that next chain after that, you're going to make three double crochets. Two and three. So you're going to repeat this all the way down, and your work should start to look something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this row and I will show you how to end the row and how to go on to row two. Okay, so I'm coming up on the end of my row, so I have three chains left. You're going to skip the next two chains and then in that very last chain you're going to make three double crochets. So one. Two, and three. So this is what row one looks like. Okay, so to go on to row two, you're going to chain three. So one, two, and three. So when you chain your three and you turn, you're going to skip these clusters right here and you're actually going to be working in between the spaces right here. So this is going to count as your first double crochet. So you're going to skip these three double crochets right here and you're going to go right in that chain or you're going to go right in that space right here and you're simply just going to make your three double crochets. So one two and three and then you're going to repeat this all the way down to the end so you're going to always skip that double three double crochets together and you're going to work in that space in between so again oops you're going to work your three double crochets Skip the next cluster and work in between with three double crochets. Two and three. So once you go in between, you get that granny stripe effect. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the row and I will show you how to move on to row 3 as well as change colors. Okay, so I'm coming up on the end of row 2. So you're simply going to skip these two chain these two double crochets and in the top of that third chain you're going to make one double crochet. And that is what row 2 looks like. So to continue with row 3, I'm actually going to change colors, so I'm simply going to take out that last stitch and I'll just rework the whole thing for you. So again, you're making a double crochet in the top of that chain 3 that you made from the beginning and you're going to work your double crochet, but instead of ending your double crochet, you're going to drop your one color and you're going to pick up the next color, which for me is going to be that light peach color. You're going to leave a little bit of a tail and just simply lay it over your crochet hook. And you're just going to finish that double crochet with the new color. And then I like to tighten everything up a little bit just so everything stays put. And then to continue row three, you're going to do chain three. So one, two, and three. And then you're going to turn your work. So 
So you have this space right here. So you're going to work three, I'm sorry, you're going to work two double crochets into that very first space. So that chain three that you made is going to count as your first double crochet. So you have three double crochets right here. And then you're just you're going to continue like you did for row two. So you're going to skip these clusters right in between. And then in between, you're going to make three double crochets in that space. And then you're going to continue this all the way down to the end of the row. And then remember, for the pattern, I did two rows of each color before I, I changed colors. And you're going to repeat rows two and rows three over and over again until you get your desired length. So I'm going to go ahead and finish out this row and I will show you how to continue on to the next row. So I'm coming up on the end of my row and you're going to have that nice space right here and you're going to work your final three double crochets in that final space. And that is what your row looks like. These are what this is what the row looks like with two different colors. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the next couple of rows just so you can kind of get a better idea. And then I'll go ahead and move on to the border so you get an idea of how to do that. So for row four, you're going to simply do chain three, turn, and find that chain that space and then that's where you're going to work your double crochets. So again, I'm going to do the next couple of rows and I will show you how to make that beautiful shell border. All right, so now that you have a few colors, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the border. So for the border, you can use any color that you want. In my blanket pattern, I used pink for the first row and then I used the light peach for the second row. So you can start in any corner that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and I'll just start right here in this chain. And I'm just going to be using that orchid color. And you're just going to simply make a chain just like I did. Or you can make a slip, slip knot and then chain it. But I'm just going to go ahead and chain two. And you're going to make a half double crochets all in all around the border for the first row. So whenever you do a space like this, you're going to make two half double crochets. So that chain two does not count. So to make a half double crochet, you're going to do yarn over your hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And that is your half double crochet. So now it's a little tricky when you're doing the sides, which is why I wanted to show you how to do that first, is when you do the sides, you kind of just want to do like two per double crochet. So you want to kind of just make it as even as possible. I know it might be a little bit tricky, but you want to just keep everything as even as possible just so your border doesn't get rippled or you're missing stitches or anything like that. So I did one there, and I'm doing one here. And then again, you have that chain. You have, yeah, you have that spacer here, the chain space. And I just go ahead and put two half double crochets in there. And then again, you want to kind of just make that even. Now when you get to the corner, which was right here, you're going to make three half double crochets all in that corner. And that will help round out your corner nicely. Okay, and now that we're going over the top, it's just going to be very easy. You can see your stitches. So you just want to go in the top of those double crochets. And then when you get to that chain space, you're just going to make 
your double crochet or your half double crochet in that chain space and then continue on so again just remember when you get to the corners you're going to make three half double crochets in that corner and then you're just going to make one half double crochet all around and again for the sides you're going to make the sides as even as possible. You don't have to do as many chains as I did or as many half double crochets as I did. You just want to make it even enough. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this first row of my border and then I will come around to the beginning so that way you can see how to make the shell part of the border. So I'm coming up on the at the beginning of my round and I'm simply going to find that first double half double crochet and I'm just going to slip stitch everything together just like that so then your first round of your border is complete so I'm going to go ahead and change colors and you can start on any corner that you like so I'm going to go ahead and cut this yarn off and I will show you how to move on to the second row of the border. Okay, so you can start in any corner that you want. I'm just gonna start right here. So you have your chain, you have your three half double crochets. I'm just gonna start in that very corner, so that middle one. And again, just lay your new color. If you wanna use a new color, you can always use the same color as the first row. So if you wanna continue with this purple, you can. But I wanted to change it up and use a different color. So just lay that new color over your hook, leaving a small change to weave in later. And you're just gonna pull through. And then you're going to make two chains. So one and two. And then you're gonna make four half double crochets in that very same chain or that very same stitch and that chain two does not count. So you're gonna make four half double crochets and that will count as your shell stitch. So that's one, two, three, and four. Okay, then you're gonna skip the next stitch and in the next stitch after that, you're going to make a single crochet. Skip the next stitch. And in the following stitch after that, you're going to make four half double crochets. And then you're just going to alternate this all the way around your entire border. You're just going to do every other stitch. You're going to alternate between the single crochet and then the half double crochet shell stitch. And that will complete your border and then when you get to the beginning you're just going to slip stitch to the beginning cut off your yarn and you're going to weave in all those ends when you weave in your ends you want to make sure that you stick with the same color so if you're using this buttercup yellow color you're going to weave in the buttercup yellow with this color and so on for the other colors. That way when you weave in your ends, it'll stay with that same color that you used and you won't see it in your pattern as much. So here's what your shell is gonna start to look like. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish the top of this blanket or this little swatch so that way you can just see how beautiful that shell is. It's definitely one of my favorite borders. I seem to gravitate towards this with a lot of blankets that I've made. So you can always change it up to make a different border if you like, but this is just the border I used for this particular blanket. So you're gonna make your, my yarn doesn't get caught. If you're gonna make half double crochets, four together, and then you're gonna skip that next stitch and you're going to make a single crochet and then repeat that all the way around your border. You can always use different colors as well. If you want a more prominent rainbow you can use the primary colors, the bright red and so on in order to make that. Or if you wanted to make the pastel version like I did 
you can use a lighter version of those rainbow colors. The choice is really up to you. All right, so this is what the border looks like if you were to do that. And I thought it was really pretty and it just ended that blanket nicely. So let me show you again what that blanket looks like. And again, I used the pink for my half double crochet border and then I used that light peach for the shell border. But you can change it up to whatever color that you like. For this blanket, I used one skein of each color. So you definitely get a nice size blanket using that. Again, I'm going to go ahead and leave the link below for the written pattern just in case you wanted to see everything more in detail. And this is what your completed blanket looks like. So again, this is the candy stripe blanket and it is made using pastel rainbow colors and I thought it turned out very, very beautiful. So thank you again for joining me on today's tutorial on how to make the candy stripe blanket. My name is Amanda and I'm from amandacrochets.com. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And if you would like to see any other video, please leave a comment below and let me know what video you would like to see. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.